Hey gang, Scott Davenport here. I've got a quick tip for you in On One Photo Raw today about color grading your skies in your landscape and leveraging something we have in the local adjustments. I'll take a quick moment and thank the folks who are supporting my work on Patreon. It's support from you that makes videos like this possible. Now let's take a look at the local adjustments. I've got this photo here in Raw and adding a local adjustment. And I want to do something with the sky, tint it with some color, do something like that. And we have this paint with color option in the local adjustments. Now I'll turn this on. This is the default color that's chosen and nothing's happened right now because by default, a local adjustment is masked away from the entire scene you would be painting it in. If we go up into the masking options, I'll invert that and then we'll see this entire color. We're painting with solid paint all over the scene. Well, this is certainly not what we want, but we're just getting started. And here's where the fun begins. First thing we'll do is we'll take this opacity down to, let's just take it to about 20 so we can still see that we've got some of that color there, but uh, we haven't uh, shaped it yet. First thing to do for shaping it, generally speaking, at least with a scene like this where I've got a pretty dramatic sky, my foreground is kind of shadowed. I don't want the shadows to be taking on the color tint, but I want the rest of the scene to add a luminosity mask. So we'll click the lumen button, and then we start to get this more nuanced color. If I increase that, you'll still see that color's there, but it's just being blended and nuanced through the scene. That's cool. Now the next thing we can play with is the color itself, right? So we'll click on the color swatch here and I'll just leave this open. So we can start to play around, right? As I move the color around this wheel, I start to see exactly what's going on with the color grading. I can take this in a very, you know, fiery, more dramatic direction, something a little more subtle. I can go, well, I'd be kind of like a faded retro look maybe or a vintage, but, you know, something like this we can start to really change the shape of the scene. And it's, it's nice because it's visual. You can play with the color and see in real time what's going on with the treatment. One other thing I wanna point out is the blending options. So up in the blending options, we have the different blending modes. Oh, wrong pick box, there we go. And as I hover over these, we'll see how those things change the scene. And what I've found is things like lighten are interesting, Color dodge is quite interesting for this look. You know, and other things like overlay and eh, hard light, less so. I'm, I'm kind of fond of color dodge because it just gives a very interesting, at least for this particular photo, blend. Now that is, I like the coloring. It's a little strong. Well, I can take that opacity back down to something that might be a little more reasonable for the scene. And then maybe I can push that color out to a more fully saturated item. But just that one filter, I'll turn that off and turn it on. It really does change the dynamic of the photo. It's a nice way to do color grading. And of course you can apply the same approach to the shadow areas, right? Uh, as a matter of fact, let's go ahead and do it uh, just for the, the practice here. We'll add another adjustment, open everything up here. We'll say paint with color and let's seed this with a, uh, like a, a cooler tone. Luminosity mask. Invert the luminosity mask. So now I'm targeting that blue to the shadows, right? And then we can take down the opacity and do the other playing that we want. We can change the color, maybe something around there looks pretty nice. We can explore the different blending options. Let me try that same color dodge for this scene. So for the blue, I don't like the color dodge as much. You know, um, the hard light and soft light, let me see what soft light is, quick before and after. That's pretty subtle. I um, I, I like the subtle, subtle touches here. Let me increase that little saturation a little bit. And then overall, we can see before and after with blue tinting. So we're, we're doing kind of a split tone in this example, but doing something a little different, playing with the blending modes, using this paint with color option. That's a, that's a really nice feature. This used to be color fill layers in older versions of On One Photo Raw. Well, now we still have that. It's just kind of tucked, hidden away inside of local adjustments. So if you're looking to do a little extra 
color treatment on your skies, take a look at the local adjustments, paint with color, and then do some masking, and then just play around with the color, watch it visually. It's a lot of fun, and I think it will add a, a nice, unique feel to many of your photos. Hope you enjoyed the tip. My name is Scott Davenport. Thanks for watching, and have fun.